Hello and welcome to the Voodoo Free video for Monday, August 5th. This is David and what I want to do here this evening is recap a trade that we closed out last week. This is an SPX put calendar uh, that we put on to make money from bearish moves. We discussed it in uh, in several of the rooms, including uh, including the Voodoo Mastery Room. And it's something that we, we first started putting on back here on the 25th. So that's after we started to bounce from a uh, an apparent three-wave corrective decline. Now, um, that's suggested if the interpretation of that three-wave decline was right, that, um, that we would eventually turn back up in the index. But this bounce uh, that we had uh, subsequently here on the 25th that, that also started to roll back over was, um, was also looking corrective. And that suggested that we would eventually get at least another three-wave move to the downside. Now, back with the information that we had turning down from the voodoo snow line here on the 25th, we were projecting if the next leg down was gonna come immediately where it might get to. And so we um, we just measured the uh, initial move down and projected where a subsequent move down would be similar in size. That came in at 52.12, not because we had to be, but we have to have, uh, not because the next leg down had to be similar in size, but it would be convincing if it was, and we need to have some place to uh, to put as our target for that spread. So we decided with that uh, equal corrections down measure coming into, uh, or measuring to about 5213, to put on a 5200 um uh, put calendar, right? So that means we were coming in and we were selling a, a 5,200 put for the August uh, 9th expiration. That's this coming Friday. And then, right, at, so we sold that put, the nearer dated put, and then we bought a put for a later dated uh, expiration. Sorry, I, I said... Uh, yeah, so August 9th expiration, and then we went out to August 23rd and um, and bought a put. And why these work so well, particularly in down markets, is first of all, those longer dated puts are expensive. Selling the shorter dated one helps offset that price. But when you head down towards that price, the, uh, the longer dated put increases in price significantly more. It also increases in price, not just because we move down to it, but it increases, um, the, the spread increases with volatility as well, and that volatility tends to go up uh, as uh, prices go down. So we put that trade on, as I mentioned, here on the 25th. We did it for $11.40. Now, um, as it so happened, we bounced more prior to rolling over, but that, um, that additional bounce still looked corrective, and so we maintained our expectations for lower. But that equal legs down spot, because we bounced more, uh, moved up to about 52.87. So everything looked on track when we started to roll over late last week. We had this move down on Thursday, and then we bounced a little bit, and then we rolled over and continued even further down here on Friday. And that ended up being where we took off this spread. So a few reasons. One, we got down close to a spot where this move down uh, was equal in size to the earlier move down, right? And furthermore, right, if we look at the internal structure, there was a leg down here on Thursday and a bounce and another leg down. And we're also sort of right at the spot where, where those two legs were in, inside were equal in size. And that suggested 
that we may have reached downside objectives from our pattern. So we ended up taking this off for uh, $33.10, just shy of triple what, um, what we spent on the spread. Of course, it would have been worth a good deal more if we had held it into today. We didn't. We had our reasons why we took it off, um, suggesting that maybe there was a chance that this thing was done. If I had the same behavior again another time, I probably would handle it exactly the same way. So um, so good nearly triple in here. This is why we took it. And, and now the question is, are we, um, are we in a longer term downtrend or are we getting ready to bounce? We'll cover that in the, um, in the premium video. I hope you found this recap useful and I will see you at the next update. Hey, David here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please help us out. Click the like button. You can also add your comments below. We love to read those and respond to them. You can also click the bell icon that will alert you whenever we have new and updated videos. And if you want to watch us trade in real time with our own money, you can visit simplertrading.com to learn how to sign up. Until I see you again, as always, good trading, and we'll see you at the next video.